Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Collar Homestead. Today's video, what we're going to do is the Ormsby Farm $10 dinner challenge. We were uh, challenged by Yogi Hollow. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a couple cans of vegetable soup go a lot further than they normally do. So come on over into the kitchen and we'll get started. Hey, I saw that. <laughs> All right. Here's what we're going to do. We got about a half a pound of locally grown farm raised ground beef. We got two cans of this old fashioned vegetable soup. And we're going to use one bag of this boil in a bag rice. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get the rice started. So, let me get the pot filled up. We'll fill this up, get it going, because the rice probably takes the longest to cook out of anything, so let's get that turned on, on high, and then I'm going to take this ground beef. Now we used half of this for something else, so I'm going to take this ground beef, and I'm going to throw this in the pot and brown it, and after that's all done, I'll come right back and uh, show you what else is going on. All right, I'm just going to mash this up to kind of break up the ground beef. So I don't have these huge chunks in there. I kind of like the smaller, but let's turn the heat off. I think that's just about done. Still haven't gotten the rice in yet. The uh, water's got to boil first. So, yeah, the rice is probably the thing that takes the longest. Everything else is pretty simple. He's falling the stove. We can eat that later. Alright, we're going to set this off to the side so it doesn't uh, get burned. And then when uh, the rice is done, we'll get to our next step. Alright, the, the rice is finally in the water boiling, so we got about. Ah, almost 10 minutes left. I just put it in there. Ground beef's ready. This stuff's sitting here waiting to go in. So let's get this all done and then we'll put it all together and kind of see what it looks like. All right, the rice is done. So, what we're going to do is just cut this guy open, dump it in the pan. Yeah, that's hot. And then we're going to take the ground beef and we're going to dump that in the pan, in the pot. So, dump all this guy in there. This might be a little over half a pound, but who knows. Well, you can kind of see, I don't know if I grab the camera, you can kind of see what's going on in there. So far, it just looks like ground beef and rice, but the next part is to add these guys in there. So we're going to crack these open. Try to do it left-handed because my right hand is still... No, it's alright. All right, well, here, you can open the next one now. 
When you add this stuff in, do not add water like the can says because it will ruin the whole thing. So we're going to throw that in there. Throw this in there. Give it a good stirring. I might have to add a third can. We're going to see here in a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking we might have to. So I'm just eyeballing it from the way I've made this in the past. But if you add water to this, it will kill the flavor. So don't do that. You know, so all right, so we're gonna add three cans of this soup instead of two. Like I said, do not add water to this at all. Basically, you just took those three cans of soup. Now, there's probably enough here for three people to have some good sized portions. So, now I will turn the heat on here just to heat this up a little bit and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a taste and see how it does all right well there you have it this is the finished product I don't even know what to call this it's really good it's actually not that much money to make so I mean we should name something for it I don't know but what this is is about about a half a pound of ground beef one bag of rice three cans of soup now, I figure out price, this box was two bucks, there's four of these in here, so I only used one, so that was literally 50 cents worth the rice. These were about $1.50, so you're four fifty for those three cans, plus the 50 from this puts you at five bucks. There's glares coming from everywhere, that's why I really like And then the, uh, the ground beef, we bought a quarter cow from a, a local mm -hmm. farmer, and that ended up being about $6 a pound, and we used about a half a pound. So that's three dollars. So I mean, we're literally at about eight bucks to make this, and there's probably enough to make about three bowls this size. So it's under ten dollars. It's not that hard to make. It doesn't take that long to make, and it's pretty good. So uh, Ormsby Farms ten dollar uh, dinner challenge. This is it. This is our entry, and uh, I don't know who should we call out. I was just gonna tell you. Hold on, we gotta figure out who we're gonna call out. I don't know. Who do you think it should be? Um, Has anybody called out Bramble Hill yet? I, that's where I was thinking. So yeah, let's, I, think, I think we're going to call out Bramble Hill. So We need one more. One more? Living the Height Life. Living the Height Life? Yes. Okay. I believe I said that right. If I said it wrong again, please let me know. All right, so it's Bramble Hill and Living the Height Life. We're calling them two channels out for the $10 Ormsby Farm Dinner Challenge. I'll put the hashtag somewhere down below Tim. And in the description box below. And um, I think that about wraps this one up. So, you know, have a good day. We'll see you on the next one.